Hey guys, I wanted to do a video for those people who can't do keto and intermittent fasting 100%, okay? They can sort of do it, but they're, they're having a hard time staying consistent, okay? Well, here's the thing. Something is better than nothing, okay? So do what you can. Work towards the ideal scene, okay? But there's relative importances. You have things that are moderately bad and you have things that are really, really bad to avoid. And I want to just kind of make the distinction between the two. Uh, in this list, these are the things you really want to stay away from, okay, if you cheat or go off the program. And that would be soda, because it's just pure sugar, and juice, pure sugar, especially if the juice in the soda is made with high fructose corn syrup. So that's really, really, really bad to cheat with or to go off the program with. Uh, candy, which is usually made from high fructose corn syrup or, or our dextrose. They never use, you know, actual cane sugar anymore. But still, candy would, is concentrated sugar. A donut, which is completely refined carbohydrate and fat and sugar on top of that. You want to avoid that. Diet soda. So not good long term. So if you're a chronic diet soda drinker, um, it could create a lot of health problems down the road. Not right away down the road. So I would recommend to avoid this one. Canned fruit with syrup, high fructose corn syrup, really bad. Okay, so avoid that like the plague. And then also the combination of meat with sugar. Okay, so if you were to go to a, uh, I don't know, a Chinese restaurant or a fast food restaurant and they serve this sweet sauce around the meat, really bad. Barbecue sauce, really bad. The combination is really bad uh, because it it increases uh, something that makes your blood really, really sticky, and it's real thick, and it can create problems with your heart, okay, and even plaquing. Um, meatloaf is a combination of uh, your bread with meat. If you have a hamburger with ketchup, which is high fructose corn syrup, with the bun, really bad. Then when you add starch to that on top of that with this meal, so you're doing some greasy fries, okay, so that's not good. This combination is not going to be good for your insulin levels at all. So then you have the combination of fat and sugar. Um, like in ice cream, traditional ice cream, you have all this high fat with a ton of sugar. Not a good combination. So any combination with protein or sugar or fat and sugar is not good. All right. Now, the occasional list right here. Let's say you do a, a sweet potato, a yam, uh, just potato, rice. Okay, so have it occasionally. It's definitely better than these things right here, okay? Alcohol, make sure if you're doing alcohol, occasionally, small amounts, you're doing something more dry and not so sweet. Um, fruit, well, it's definitely better than these if you have some occasional fruit or beans or unsweetened yogurt. These are things that I would kind of, if you're going to cheat, do these right here, not these right here. Let's say you go off track and you want to repair the damage. There's a couple of things I'm going to recommend. Electrolyte powder. This puts the potassium back in. You'll feel better quick if you do it. You can take a drink of it and you'll feel a lot better. And then the uh, wheatgrass juice powder. This is like putting the nutrients back in simply because a lot of these foods deplete vitamins and minerals. So we want to put them back in and have you get right back on track. Now, if there's a holiday, a birthday party, a social event, go off the program get right back on the program. The way that I would recommend looking at this is if you were to just take a sheet of paper and divide it down the center and just look at it from the, the standpoint of in a given day, how many things do you do to create your health? Okay, are you exercising? Are you sleeping good? Are you doing things to lower your stress? Are you eating healthy? And then all the things that you're doing to counter create your health, okay? You know, whatever that is. And you want to make sure you keep creating your health every single day. That's how you get healthy. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, so I'm doing a survey of a future video. And I wanted to find out what your biggest body problem is. So that way, the content is aligning with something that you are personally interested in. So please click the link down below, fill it out, and I will create the video. Thanks.